Hi, welcome to Avasam Insights. My name is Lucas, and in this video, I want to take you through some important initial settings. Before you start selling products, please watch this video to explain how to get most out of the Avasam platform and the initial settings. So if you go to your settings, first one you would see automate your prices. So if you want to add a new pricing rule, depending on the channel that you're selling on, and then specific, specific suppliers or specific categories, please set up this pricing rule accordingly. So if supplier changes the price, this would get automatically updated on your selling channel. We've got separate video how to set up the pricing rule for this. Next one would be the email notifications. All the notifications received from Amazon, it would be automatically sent to your registered email address. But if you got multiple e emails and you, and you got some other staff, you want them to receive the notifications, then please add a new email address here. Next one are the sales channel integrations, and this will take you to our integrations that we are offering and all the different channels from web stores to different marketplaces. Then account settings that would be done already through the onboarding visa as well as payment settings. Next one would be the exports. So export types you are able to export in CSV files would be the product price, where you can see you can see the SKU there, and then product price, excluding VAT, product basic details, and then you can select the fields that you want to be exported here, as well as product extended properties. And if you want to just uh, download the images, which would be provided with SKU and the URLs to each of the products, full product details, and you have option option to export product uh, our full product catalog, and then also the promotions. So these are different export types you can download here. Imports. So imports you would need to add configuration, and then we've got different import types. What you can do, you can import orders through CSV, bulk source products, bulk delete products, and then also bulk map the SKUs. So if you select any of the import types, you need to first download the CSV template. And you can see the template type here, what you need to have here is just the SKU to bulk source products, and then source, and the value should be yes. Okay, then what we've got here are inventory locks. So our suppliers are able to change the prices uh, according to the, to the market and the trend. And then also you would be notified here when the price updates. If you go to your inventory locks, you are able to apply different date range filters. So if you want to see all the price, all the products that have been changed in price in the last seven days, you select the filter accordingly and then all the products would be shown here. So this would be all the products where they had the price changed. So two of our suppliers would not need to notify you of this uh, price change and the price change would be changed anytime automatically without any notifications. That's where it's very, very important to automate your prices. So the pricing rule would update these accordingly on your channel. All the other suppliers, which are standard suppliers, and they got uh, standard KPIs and SLAs, they would need to notify you uh, three days in advance. So anytime they change the price, so as you can see here, the date on the 6th, you get the notification, and then three days later, the price would be changed on, on the channel. And then next one, we've got the user management. So what we got here, so you are the main user when you create your account, and then you are also able to add multiple different users. You would need to fill their contact name, surname, email address, and phone number, and also select the access right you want to give them. So if you just want them to go to your orders page and see the inventory, fill the details in here and then save, and this new user would receive a verification email to create their own uh, login details. Hope this has been helpful to you guys. If you have any questions regarding all these settings or any other functionalities, please reach out to my colleagues on the live chat. 
or you can raise the ticket through our help and raise support ticket and also email to support at avasam.com. Thanks for watching.